Welcome to this video about contrasts or group comparisons for MANOVA. If you run a MANOVA, you want to compare groups on two or more dependent variables. But as soon as you have three groups or more, there is a problem. If you get a significant result, you know that there is some group difference when it comes to the dependent variables. But you don't know where exactly it lies. You don't know which groups are different. Only in this special case with two groups, there it's sufficient to have a significant MANOVA, because then you know those two groups differ. But with three groups or more, you don't know which group differ. You know this problem from MANOVA. There you have two options. You could use contrast to compare groups, that is planned group comparisons, and you could use post hoc tests after your significant ANOVA. And in principle, it's the same with MANOVA. And if we look at the SPSS dialog, we have both options, or so it seems. We have contrasts, and we have post hoc tests. Unfortunately, if we look at the results, we'll see that we don't really get what we want. This would be the contrast result of a MANOVA. We get group comparisons here. However, we get one column for the dependent variable 1 and one column for the dependent variable 2. So we get univariate contrasts. That is, we get more or less the same we would have gotten had we run two ANOVAs in the first place. But we wanted a multivariate test, a MANOVA. So then we want a multivariate group comparison or a multivariate contrast. But we don't get it here. With post hoc tests, it's the same problem. We get one set of post hoc tests for the first dependent variable in our example and one set of post hoc tests for the second dependent variable. But we don't get a multivariate post hoc test for the combination of both dependent variables. Luckily, there is a solution for this problem. It's deeply hidden in the help pages of IBM for the SPSS program, and it works by SPSS syntax. If we want to get those multivariate group comparisons for our MANOVA, we have to use linear discriminant analysis, because there, there is such an option, which leads us to the question, why can we use a linear discriminant analysis if we want comparisons for our MANOVA? In the MANOVA, we have groups, and we want to explain differences in two or more scale variables between those groups. A linear discriminant analysis is exactly the opposite. We have some independent scale variables and try to predict group memberships. Mathematically, a MANOVA and a linear discriminant analysis work the same. With the same data, you get the same test statistic and you get the same p-value. What's different is just the interpretation. That is, the dependent variable of the MANOVA is the independent variable in the linear discriminant analysis. And since mathematically both analyses are the same, we can use a group comparison feature for the linear discriminant analysis to compare groups for our MANOVA. So let's look at the syntax. If you want to use the syntax, you could simply copy and paste it from the companion web page to this tutorial. The link is in the description of this video. This would be the syntax for the MANOVA. The interesting thing is here, the syntax for the discriminant analysis for the same data. Here you have to put in your group variable and the range of the levels you want it to analyze. In our example we have three groups coded 1, 2, 3, so the range is 1, 3. And here we put in the dependent variables of the MANOVA. From the standpoint of the discriminant analysis, those are independent variables, but they are the dependent variables you used for your MANOVA. And we have to use a stepwise approach for some reason, so those two parameters are important. If we run the syntax, we get a warning. And we get this warning even if you write the syntax exactly as it's written in the IBM help page. But as far as I can see, you can ignore this. So let's look at the results. First, before we look at the group comparisons, I would like to make sure that the discriminant analysis has the same overall results. Above are the MANOVA results, Below are the results of the discriminant analysis. The discriminant analysis uses a stepwise approach. It's a little bit like a stepwise approach in regression. We only have to look at the last step, in our case, the second step. And if we compare the results for Wilkes Lambda, here for MANOVA, and here for the discriminant analysis, here the F statistic for the MANOVA, here for the discriminant analysis. So we see both procedures lead to exactly the same statistic. After having checked this, we go to the group comparisons, we get such a table, and again, here are two steps. If we had three dependent variables, we would get three steps. 
Relevant is only the last one, so just ignore the first step. Or the first steps, just look at the last step. Here is the group comparison between group 1 and 2, here between group 1 and 3, and here between group 2 and 3. And if you use more than one group comparison at the same time, you should think about Bonferroni adjustment for the alpha error, as you would do with univariate contrast analysis too. That's it. I hope this helps you with your maneuvers. You will find links to other statistic video tutorials on my website. The link is in the description.